how to remove scaly rust from your vehicle, lawn furniture, anything that has scaly rust on it. In the process of treating that and then putting a finish on that will last. If you want to see how I do that in my shop, I encourage you to follow to the end to see how this actually turns out. I have my 2011 pickup up on the hoist here and the reason I did that is there's a couple of reasons. I wanted to um, pressure wash everything underneath so that I could see what I have and then also I wanted to remove the spare tire which hasn't been down off of this truck since new. I'll show you that in just a minute. But as you can see, there's a lot of scaly rust underneath here. I'll bring you in just a little closer so you can see what I'm talking about. But if you take a look up here, you can see where the rust has started and is really starting to take a hold. Now it's not too late to get a handle on that. Now there's areas in this truck that are too far gone and it will have to be replaced. I'll show you those areas. You can see that this cab corner is pretty much gone. I pressure sprayed it and it actually blew a hole into it. And along with the cab corner, you can see that the rockers are pretty much gone. Let's look at that. That's rusted clear through, all the way through here like that on both sides. Now that metal will have to be cut out, ground out, cleaned up, and replaced. New metal welded in, new rockers welded in, and repainted. For this year, I'm not going to do that on this truck, but what I want to do is get some of the areas treated on the truck and then rust proof it underneath. But today what I want to show you is how I take scaly rust off, treat it, and then put a finish on that will last. And to do that, I want to bring you to the spare tire that I took off the back here. As you can see, this tire here has a lot of scaly rust on it. I've already took some of it off and I want to show you the process that I use. This was the side that was up towards the truck where all the debris caught and set. And this was the side that was down. And you can see how rusty that got over the years. But this tire has never been off that truck that I know of. It may have been because I don't see the, it, it looks like there may be a little wear here, but it, it's been far and few between. So how do I take scaly rust off? Let me show you. What I use is a tool like this right here, what I call descaler. And what it's used a lot for is taking the slag off of welding in iron work, in that kind of st stuff. I picked this up at Hobo Freight for practically nothing, and it works good. I've used it a lot in this shop. It takes a lot of air. In my little compressor, it does a pretty good job, but I, I should have a bigger compressor. Let me show you how this works. Those needles go up and down extremely fast. If you have ear protection, I would uh, recommend it. I'm just going to demonstrate this so I don't have any on, but it is loud. So let's try it. What you do is you hold that just like that so that those needles are against the metal. So
That gives you a good understanding of what I'm talking about here with this descaler. Now you go across the entire surface with that and then you take air and you blow that debris away. Now let, let's see what happens with the air. Now if you was doing this underneath your vehicle you definitely would want eye protection, ear protection and a mask on because this dust is extreme. So just take a look at this. You saw that dust blow out of there and how much came off of it. And that's after I went over it one time before I, I showed it on video. I started to clean this up and the reason I did is because I want to get it back on the truck. And as I was doing that I thought I need to show my subscribers, my viewers and how I clean rust off a of rusty metal on a vehicle or anything else that's rusty. Now the next step that I do on this is I grab this here and I bought this at the local hardware store. This stuff right here works really good. There's a lot of products out there to neutralize rust. But that's what, this is what Marv's Fix-It Shop uses in his shop. I had a video out there demonstrating all the rust products and how they work. And I will put that at the end of this video. So let's get right into it. I pour that product into a little container like this. Depending on how big the project is, I might even use a hand pump sprayer to spray underneath like the frame and underneath side of an entire truck if I was going to get it ready for paint. But for this tire, I'm just going to use a little sprayer like this. And all I do is I go in here and I put a little mist coat over the whole thing. And you don't want to breathe too much of this stuff in. So if you're working overhead, I can't stress enough about using a uh, some kind of mask breathing apparatus or whatever and eye protection because this stuff will burn. <sighs> I learned the hard way on that, but there now there you have it. I gave out a very nice wet coat. Now the next step is just to let that dry. And once that dries, it should turn everything to a darker color. You can see how this tire turned black into the tetch. It's extremely or tire this wheel. It's extremely tight on there. So now what I'm going to do is get this rust to, uh, stoium rust reformer. I've shaken the can up and we're going to see what this looks like. I'll spray a little on so you can see what I have and then I'll finish it and bring you back and show it to you. But uh, all I do is put a nice first coat on. Oh, sometimes I don't even put on a second coat. Depends how well the first goes on obviously. Um, since this is a spare I'm not worried about the overspray on the tire. It's a flat black. Dries very flat. Hardly see it. Normally I'd put a mask on but for this little bit I'm just gonna do it and get it done. You can see how that's working nicely. We get this first coat on and I'll show you. And then I'll come back and I'm going to put a second one on just to make sure. Okay, we'll let that set just for a minute. It doesn't have to set long. Let me zoom you in just a little bit better. You can see how that wheel turned out. It's still rough. Could have used some sanding, but that, that wheel was really rusty, if you remember right. But take a look at it. 
that pane will stick on there for a long time. I'll flip it around so you can see the other side too. I did end up putting two coats on each side and for a spare tire that's going to be up there to catch all the grime and dirt I think that'll work just fine. I use a lot of different processes in here at times to do my rust proofing and behind me you see that I have my 2011 F50 in the air the reason for that is I went ahead and pressure sprayed it and I'm going to rust proof it but with a different product. I'm not going to spray this rust reformer over it. I did put that rust inhibitor on the entire underneath side and if you can see this, maybe you can, maybe you can't, but this was really orange colored rust and you can see how black it turned it almost like if I would have sprayed it but but that hasn't been sprayed that just has the rust inhibitor now I'm going to use a different product to rust proof this and that'll be coming in an upcoming video if you got comments on how you do your rust proofing I would sure appreciate hearing your, about your projects and if you like what I bring to you in this channel, it's a variety of different uh, repairs and comparisons, some short stories, a little nature. I encourage you to subscribe to this channel if it's something that you enjoy watching and want to watch. And then hit that notification button so that you know when my videos are be, uh, have been posted. But for this truck, I'll bring it at a later time. Now, if you like these products or these videos I encourage you to tune into this one right here it's it shows you a little bit more what I do in this shop and I think you would appreciate watching this right here can it be fixed sure it can can you fix it you're darn right you can until the next one